and I hope what you get from this channel is a sense of hope, of it's possible to heal, it's possible to build community. Um, hope, healing, practical things as well as stories. <laughs>
Um, the big thing for me is this idea of grieving and grieving as connected to community building. So what is grieving? Grieving is when you feel your full emotions in response to the trauma and building community with others and feeling emotions with people because we can't do this alone. I think there's components that are important to have alone. Like it's important to have your emotions when you're alone. And then it's also important to have your emotions with other safe people. Um, so grieving and community building as a way of addressing shared traumas, especially when we talk about systems of oppression and we talk about like, you know, I think COVID coronavirus is a great example of we're going to need to grieve together because it affected all of us. It's not something we can do on our own, right? Um, so yeah, really connecting grieving community building to like, I think with healing from trauma, it helps to have a sense of purpose. Like why? Why did you go through what you went through and sort of what, how are you channeling that moving forward? And that's where social change comes in. So next is um, self and relationships as a topic. So this is really like sense of self, building relationships with others. And this is like sort of a building block because we need, we need these skills for understanding ourselves and understanding how to build relationships with other people when we think about organizing, when we think about like forming relationships over a long period of time. So this is going to be things like deconstructing some of the things we've been taught about um, love, about friendship, about family, um, and also constructing a new idea. So this is where I get into like relationship anarchy, which is an important framework for me. Also me sharing my own stuff. Like this is some stuff from my like healing process. This is some stuff from my perspective on like building relationships and what I've learned. So I, I do think me sharing is going to be important. Um, obviously I'm not going to, this is not going to be my diary. Um, but yeah, just using myself as an example is helpful, I think. And inevitably, I, I'll share some radical perspectives. Um, take what fits, leave the rest. That's okay. Um, also, I think when I, when, we, when I think about things to critique, the mental health industry plays a big role in that. I am a therapist. I think it's important for me to use my voice, my perspective, my credentials to critique the way that the industry operates, the way that it harms people. And so that's going to be looking at like historical context of institutions and frameworks. So like, where does like this like practice come from? Well, let's look at like the development of this institution over time that has birthed this practice. Looking at like, where does the money come from? Where does it go? Uh, so yeah, I think, I think that's very important. Um, also, in particular, critiquing the connections between mental health workers and the mental health industry and different forms of policing. So I will be getting into that, I'm sure. Um, also theories, like theories of mental health, talking about them, what I think works, what doesn't, why. Um, we'll get into that. Um, also, I'm not just going to be critiquing and tearing things down. I'm also going to be offering like radical alternatives, different visions for like utopian futures in terms of like, hey, things don't have to be this way. What if they were like that or like that instead? So I'll be talking about like some historical social movements, um, like anarchy as a force for good. Like how, what is anarchy? What does it look like in different contexts? and connecting that to relationship anarchy, which is the connection between like personal lives and political ideas. I think relationship anarchy and like political anarchy are the same values, just at a different scale. So we'll be talking about like, what are those values and how can we apply them at different scales and in different contexts. Um, and also just sharing like, hey, I imagine this could be like this. I think it's helpful to not just say boohoo, the world's pretty terrible, but also to say like, we can imagine it could be like this instead. Um, the last type of videos I'm currently thinking of uh, doing are media analysis. So that'll be like books I've read, 
and I can share sort of what I learned with you as well as points of disagreement and points of like connecting the dots. Film and TV shows, as well as like songs and music, just any different types of art um, to sort of look at like, how are they representing these things um, that, that we're talking about? And yeah, how are they representing these things? Like what, what, what do they say? Um, if they're older, like what influence did they have? Um, and then also maybe looking at public figures and current events, just like offering my perspective on those things from the perspective I have. So yeah, lots of different analysis. Um, in terms of the videos, um, obviously I'm still learning. I'm like fairly new to this YouTube process. So my goal eventually is to go one video a week release. Um, and prior to that, I'm just going to be working towards that. It'll probably take me a bit of time to get to that point. Um, in terms of the types of videos, it's really going to be from the start, like putting in some building blocks in terms of like, hey, this is my like understanding of what is trauma. And then this is my understanding of like, what is a mental health system? So once I have some of these like basic videos, then I can start combining ideas and looking at like, how do they interact? So that's, that's my intention. Um, I do have a lot of ideas for videos. I'll be, I'll be working a while. So I fully welcome suggestions. I welcome lots of comments, lots of feedback. Please tell me like, what are you thinking? What's your response to the video? Um, and maybe I can work that in over time. Maybe not. I can't really promise that because I really have stuff I want to share. Um, but please add in how you're receiving it and things you would like to hear more of. I really would love to hear from you. Um, the only thing with that is if you are sharing about like traumatic things in your life or about like really difficult or challenging experiences you've had, um, I can't personally like offer support to you because in this context, I am not a therapist, so I can't offer like that sort of support to individual people. Um, it, yeah, it, it just sort of like, it would start this slippery slope of like, if I offer support to, to one person, like, am I responsible for all the people reaching out to me? And then like, I just don't have the emotional energy to support everyone in that way. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to respond if you share about really tough stuff. Um, I do appreciate comments about like the content. Um, yeah. Also, if there's any, like anything you have to ask or share about relating to like being able to like consume my videos, so it's easier for you, whether that's, I don't have a transcript ready, but cause I do outlines, but let me know if, if you're having trouble with the YouTube subtitles, let me know if there's a, a different way I could make this more accessible. Um, I will definitely be very attentive to those comments. Um, any sort of hateful comments, whether towards me or someone else, those are going to get deleted. Don't do that stuff. Um, if you are feeling some type of way about something I'm saying, please share privately in a group chat. I don't want to hear about it. Um, we're, we're trying to build a supportive environment here and I know I'm not going to be directly responding to you, but take that anger, which might be like, in, if you're feeling anger or like uncomfortable with things I'm saying, that might mean that I'm touching on stuff that feels like raw or vulnerable for you. It might be good to self-reflect about like what exactly you're upset about and like why. Um, Cause yeah, my perspectives are radical, but also maybe there's some untouched pain that's causing you to be angry. We'll talk more about that. Um, okay. I will not be making a Discord or another community platform because I think that my capabilities to moderate that in a way in which people feel supported and in which it's in alignment with my values, it would just take too much time and energy. And I don't think I could do it as well as I would want to. So I will not be doing that. Um, however, if 
y'all are interested, I would encourage you in the comment section or on social media, wherever, to like form your own community spaces in which you're supporting each other that I will not be a part of. So I will not be joining if this is a thing. But I would encourage you, if you're looking for support and community, you can build that. Because um, I think um, a lot of folks who are going to like my videos probably are like people who are seeking support and seeking community. So yeah, you're welcome to organize in the comments of my videos or wherever else you want to happen to be. Um, oh, also, I'm not going to be live streaming because for me, it's very important for my process for me to like reflect and not react. So that's why I'm not going to be live streaming. I'm not going to be on TikTok. Um, I have other social media profiles, but I'd rather keep them separate from this. So um, right now it's just going to be the YouTube. And that gives me the time and space to draft and reflect on my stuff. Um, okay. Um, I am open to collaborating with folks. Um, so if that's something you're interested in, you can message me either via the YouTube or Patreon. I think there's going to be a way to do that. Um, yeah, just like send me a link to some social profile so I know you are who you say you are share something about maybe how you're connected with my videos and let me know what you might be interested in chatting about. Um, Cause yeah, I think putting things into conversation, um, that would be really, really like illuminative as compared to me just like talk, 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 talk by myself. Um, okay. Uh, in terms of therapy, like I said, I'm a therapist. Um, if you find me and you are located in the USA state of Pennsylvania, um, I'm doing teletherapy. You're welcome to contact me via the contact form on my website. You can find that via my YouTube profile. Um, please mention that you found me via this channel and we're going to talk about um, how that might affect our relationship in terms of parasocial relationships or something else. Um, I'm probably going to talk more about this at some point, but parasocial relationship is when you feel very close to someone, but this other person doesn't also feel that way about you, which can happen a lot with online content creators who are putting a lot of themselves out there and people consume, and it's like sort of a one-way relationship. Um, if this happens, it's natural. Um, but also, it, it's something to be mindful of, because um, we're, not, we're not building the same sort of close, intimate relationship that it might feel like we are because of the way I'm speaking. So just be mindful, be mindful of that, and especially if, you know, if you're going to be interested in doing therapy with me, let me know so we can talk about that. Um, yeah, also, if you are my client and something comes up, let's talk about this video when we talk. Um, also, yeah, viewing these is not required for my clients. This is entirely up to you if you want to do that. Um, okay. I think that's all I wanted to say about engaging. So last is my Patreon. So I wanted to talk a little bit about that. Um, so most of my income is coming from me being a therapist. So I am doing this for the love of sharing of um yeah sharing my perspective and and inspiring people to reflect um that said it would be very helpful for me to be supported also so i can make more videos um and so i know that people are finding them helpful so i have like 10 or 15 patreon tiers totally just dependent on how much do you want to support me? Um, and yeah, this is like entirely about what would you feel comfortable with and do you want to offer the support to help me to continue making videos? Because I really, it would help me a lot if you would support me. That means I can like dedicate more time to doing it. 
Um, and yeah, I'm not really trying to make a bunch of Patreon exclusive content because I want the things that I'm doing to be accessible to everybody. Um, so right now my plan is for everyone in the Patreon to get an early outline of my videos prior to the videos being released. Um, and the thank you that I'm going to include at the tail end of my videos. I'm not going to be differentiating which type of patron. I'm just going to include everyone alphabetically. Um, yeah, supporting me definitely helps. Um, after a certain point with pa with patrons, um, I will like take your video suggestions like super highly into account because at that point, that's a lot of money that that stage is at. Um, I still can't guarantee video suggestions when they'll come through or like how I'll interpret or use them or not. Um, but definitely you'll have my attention at that point. Um, and if there's like other suggestions or ideas you have for like Patreon benefits and you're a patron, please do let me know. Um, Cause yeah, especially if it's not a ton of extra content that other folks don't have access to, I would love to consider it. Um, I just don't want to gatekeep stuff. So, but if there's something you could think of that's like not doing that, please let me know. Um, yeah, and again, this is just to enable me to be making videos and I deeply appreciate any form of support. Um, yeah, so in terms of conclusion, here's a little bit of just what am I trying to do? I am trying to build this channel and I hope what you get from this channel is a sense of hope of it's possible to heal, it's possible to build community. Um, hope, healing, practical things as well as stories. Um, yeah, hope and healing, those are really the primary things that I hope that you're getting from this channel. And if that interests you, please stick around. So, you know, you can like, comment, subscribe. I'm sure you've heard people say this before. You can also like, comment, subscribe on my videos too. And I very much appreciate it. So yeah, see you next time.